Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Laura with Stitching with Laura. How's everybody doing? I hope everybody's having a great Sunday. Well, here we are. We are going to do a stitch along, but before we do that, I got a piece of Stitchy Kindness. So let's see who this is from. I believe I know, but heck, I could be wrong. So we'll just try to get in there and see what it is. That is, if I find a way to open up the the tape, they did a great job of getting it taped. There we go. Maybe. We're getting there. Let's see what is in the package. Oh, nice. Let me turn it over. Make sure there's nothing else in there. All right, we are good. And I'll put that up over there. And we'll open the little mailer bag. It has my address and stuff that's on my my YouTube channel, but hey, let's see what is in here. This feels kind of fragile. Okay, I think that's everything out of there. This cute little bag. I never saw one of those emailer bag. Hmm, cool. This did come from the UK. This is, comes from my friend Olivia in the UK. And, oh my goodness. She said she was binge-watching my cross-stitching YouTube. And want to thank you for all you do for us watchers. I'm new to cross-stitch, and thanks to you, I now own two with more on the way. Laugh out loud. I'm new to crafting also. I have done over 400 oh my goodness 400 diamond paintings but that has died off so I thought I would give needle minders a go I would like you to have these efforts I only used one magnet to save pennies UK money so I hope you like yours truly Olivia from the UK Aren't these cute? They're so precious. Let me see if I can get them out of there. And I like how you used a, like a washer. That's a smart idea. I never thought of that. It would have given it a bigger edge. I don't have one of mine that I made. Because I have that size, but yeah. But this works really great and it's nice and flat. Isn't he the cutest? He's got some sparkle glitter on him. Or her. I'm sorry. It's a little girl. She's got flowers in her hair. And she's got little flowers on her dress. So cute. And then we have a puppy. These are cute. Where did you find these three-dimensional animals? I don't... They're like made out of wood. I guess you could probably find them at, at like Hobby Lobby or something like that. I just never get there. We went there once three, four years ago. But isn't it cute? We got a puppy. And we got, it must be a little boy, maybe a little girl. I don't know. Little bear, teddy bear. These are precious. But it works just great with that washer. Gosh, I'm going to have to remember that when I get ready to do that. These are so cute. I've got another little... One looks like a girl and one looks like a boy. I can get it out of there. And then I'll have to put them all back in their little baggies so they don't get messed up. Maybe I can put them up here. They're so cute. Good job. Maybe they were buttons. That's awesome. Good job, Olivia. 
Let's get the little bumblebee. Oh, isn't he cute? Or she cute? That is so neat. And I do have some of that E6000 glue. I think it's E6000. Found it at Walmart, actually. Couldn't believe it. Well, after I ordered it from Amazon, because at that point, it's only been three, four years ago, um, that was the only place you could get it. So cute. Well, thank you, Olivia. I just absolutely love them. They are so precious. I'm going to put them up here on my my thing, on my bobber. Because I have like an arm. Whoops. That didn't work. It's trying to... There we go. Oh, come on. Everybody. There we go. Oh, get the puppy. Whoops. I forgot the back. Need the back. Where I keep all my little needle minders. And I'm going to keep all these little plastic baggies. They'll come in handy for extra drills and stuff like that. You can put the number on them to put in there. I'll show you what this looks like here. After I get them. Oh, oops. Well. No, that ain't going to work. Okay. I'll just put them all over there. And I love this owl. He's so cool. And they're nice and lightweight, too. They're just awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. And I'll just set it right there. Hang on just a second. Alright, so I got them all up there. Everybody's hanging on to my little bridge on my thing. That's what holds my my phone. So yeah, thank you, Olivia. That's awesome. I love them. They're so cute. And I will be using those on projects. Thank, thank you. Alright, I am back. And we are going to start this one. I will put a picture here. Alright, so when I have a bigger project, I like to get out one of my plastic Amazon bags, get myself my Sharpie, and I write here Y11C T6000 dash nine four four and we'll call this, it's called Mountain V-I-L-L-A it is a 40 by 50 and I got it from D-I-Y D-I-G-I-T-A-L art I think it's art digital art I never I have to always go look but I think it's digital art and then I can put my paper in there unzip it these are the nice bigger ones they are godsend they come 30 for like I'll call it 20 bucks I, I'm not real sure but we will get out this cross stitch and like I said in the video, this one isn't very wide. It's sticky. Not sticky. Sticking. Jeez, I'm having a hell of a day. And I'm going to crunch it down. And we're going to start with this green color over here. So I'm going to roll. Everything is attaching itself that up and I'm going to take my little clip and clip on that side and these clips stay on my desk the others have gone somewhere and we're going to get us one of our little needle minders and we're going to put it right there because they're nice and light see my other ones these I know they're supposed to be refrigerator magnets but I use them on diamond paintings because they're about as wide as I cut the plastic. So they just sit there so I don't have to keep lifting them or anything. Whoops. Don't ditch dive on me. Don't ditch dive. Everybody stay where you're supposed to be. 
There we go. Oh, and we're going to need... Is there... We're going to need thread. So, unroll it. Now there's no needle there, so... We'll go to the stash and grab one. Make sure it's good and solid. And I'm going to have to move you out just a bit and move this up. And I'm going to look up my green, which is 22. So it's a blue. I told you I wanted to start the house. I was serious. Serialist. Ugh, ugh. nice long thread and I just pull this where the knots on the back so just grab a hold of one of those and pull it and it comes right out if you do it from the bottom it don't work not at all and my goodness gracious we're having a day here then I'm going to take all the rest of the thread and wrap it up and put it in the bag just like that and get it out of our way but that way it tells me what project it is and I can put it all back in its bag now I don't have a bag for everything that I've got that just isn't happening but for the bigger ones now the littler ones you know, the 30 by 30s or something about that small or whatever. I just leave them in their bags. And if they're a Joy Sunday, I definitely leave it in the bag. Because it's a nice, sturdy bag. But these big ones, they come in a horrible uh, plastic bag that kind of disintegrates like each time that you, uh, what do you call it? Each time you get it in and out of it, it just, it's thin plastic. You know, cheap, cheap, cheap. So, put my needle minder over there. Or my needle on my needle minder. We'll just use two here. And we'll get our needle threader. Oh, it's like, where did it go? How can you lose it? See, I like this because it's big enough and it's... Oh my goodness, we're getting there, kids. We're getting there. Needle. You can't do it through your finger. Get my needle threaded. Well, now, that, that is broke. I thought there was something wrong with that. So, we'll get us another one. It's not like we are short on needles. Okay, this one seems to have a nice sturdy top. Let's see if we can get this working. I don't know. It must. This must have come with a kit. You know what I mean? That's why there's no needles. There we go. Went right through it. Like one of these type things. Because see, there's five needles in there. I very rarely take them out of there. They usually come with two needles sometimes they come with those those little kits but that's fine just absolutely fine and we're gonna have to get it up and out of my way and make sure y'all can see what is going on this is kind of a blue gray well, I was gonna tell you what it was uh, 931 hmm it's pretty. It almost changes colors when you get it stitched. It gets darker. <coughs> I need a drink. It's been that kind of a day. Got the air conditioning on today because I'm not messing around. But uh, yesterday, I kind of set in the air conditioning and it kind of dries out my throat. But it's not too bad on my nose. 
Of course I hit my thing. I'm going to have to get a longer arm here. I got all kinds of stuff hanging from it. Thank you, Olivia. I love that. Because we never find little things that small. I mean, I've been collecting. Every time we go down to that other thrift store, like this one's got a bunch of fuzz in it. It's been sitting there a while. Um, like these are earrings, so I'm just going to clip it off and make it into a needle minder and maybe glue some beads into it or something. So, yeah, I've been collecting earrings and, what do you call it, pins. Like, um, no, I don't know what they are. They're like pins that you, I guess they're hat pins. Not, you know, with the long, long pin like that. But they're like a pin that has a state. And the pin is actually this big. And then it has that funky thing on the back that you put it through something and you put that on the back and it holds it there. Yeah. That's what I've been collecting. Because we don't have a Hobby Lobby or a Michaels nearby. And so the closest thing we have is Walmart. And sometimes the stuff that they get in is few and far between. But So I will have to take a look and see if I can find any of those. And now that I know that I can get that E6000 uh, glue, you know, from Walmart, because they didn't have it before. And I've actually found it at the dollar store. So, you just never know what's going to show up. And the last two years have not helped a thing. So, yeah. Not happening. But, anyway. I like my needle minders. I think they're cute. And I'm forever laying my needle down even if it's on a long string it really doesn't matter because Laura can lose it in about five minutes so and I like light weight needle minders so that's awesome and they're fun to make I should do a video on that but I don't have too much to choose from I've been Hoarding those, that one gold thing that I showed you forever. Come on. So what is everybody up to? Are you getting ready for summer vacation or going anywhere this summer? I don't think we'll be going too far. We might go out in the woods, you know, or something like that. My daughter and I like to do that. And we're just totally happy we don't have to camp. We don't have to cook over an open fire. Blah, blah, blah. That's how that works. No. Because, you know, every once in a while she'll go out with her family. They have a like a little camper, but they got two smaller kids, so it has like a bunk and then like a place where the other one can sleep, so. And then mom and dad still sleep someplace, but they can take it up and go camping. But no, I, I got no desire to cook over an open fire or any of that stuff. I lived that nightmare, thanks. So... Going for the day is just suitable for me. And walking around until my daughter and I just absolutely can't see straight. And then we go home. That's how that works. And she does like to go out and go gold panning and stuff. But we'll see. Can't believe school will be out here in a couple of weeks. It's just 
outrageous. Time is just flying by. And it's just going to get busier and busier where I work. So we'll see next week, or not next week, this week. Starting on Tuesday night, I will have to work until 10 p.m. So we will see if that comes to fruition or not. Get rid of this thread, it's just getting too short. And I got my other scissors. They don't cut worth the darn on thread too much. They are not that sharp. But they could do well on paper. Did you see that? I almost licked that. I almost did. See, I forget I have this over here. Not like it's going very far. This has a nice, I don't think you can see it, wide hole for th that thing to go through. The other one was quite thin. I don't know if I broke it pulling that through or if it was already broke. I have gotten a, a couple of, uh, what do you call it, um, broken needles, you know, in a kit. It has happened. So. But very, very few times. Usually everything is cool. And like I said, some of the kits send those little care packages. And it comes with five, four or five needles, sometimes six. And then sometimes you even get two on the, the, what do you call it, on the canvas. So, yeah, they, they give you a lot of uh, needles. And others I've just gotten two. So, you just never know. But it's always nice to have, and I just put the extras up and go on. That way if I need it for one that's actually broke then I will have it. There's another uh, green symbol here. I think. Maybe. Next to this circle green. Let's look on our thing. Oh, you got like a green arrow, green plus, and a green circle. And then everything else is different, so. Must be what I'm seeing. Get up here, little buddy. I like a nice wide, it's like a washer on the bottom, it stays real good and it'll lay flat. This needle is a little thick though. It's okay, we'll, we'll live through it. The material needs to be crunched more, I just did a quick little crunch of it so that it would get worked up a little bit so I could get it see in my hand because I never use a a hoop on this some people use a what do you call them q-snap type thing I cannot hang on to that q-snap it just kills my wrist and this is the wrist that I broke at one point 
and had to have, I guess, their pins put in there. And then after about six weeks, they took the pins out after the bone had fused back together. Oh, it was great. Yeah, it was a special time. Yeah, it took me about six, eight months until I could use my actual wrist. It was bad. That's about the only bone I've ever broken. I've had, what do you call it, spider fractures, if you will, but not an actual bone breaking. Where I had to have a, a cast or anything. Yeah, that was fun. Crazy times. Crazy, crazy times. Sounds like it's thundering out there, but I don't think it is. A little early for that. It's going to be in the 70s today, so... Woohoo! Now, if the wind will just be calm, er, you know, then it was... It's like the beginning of every week we have to go through this, you know. Where, uh... The wind is just insane. Like 20, 40 miles an hour gust to 60. I'm like, what the heck? So I don't know what causes all that, but it's not been fun. Not fun at all. So I'm looking forward to warmer weather and no wind. Trying to figure out which way to go. Well, I guess I go that way. <coughs> Excuse me. Birds are already out there popping around the the bird feeder. Guess they're trying to get their licks in early before the squirrel shows up. Yeah, he's a piece of work. But I think I've taken everything that will keep him from climbing up there. The thread looks like blue-green, if you will. Almost a teal. Alright, guys. Well, I think that's going to be it for today. Pull this down here. Get rid of that. And put my... I can just... I know we didn't get much stitched. You can barely see there. Put that there. Well, thank you, Olivia, for sending me these beautiful, beautiful needle minders. I will use them on projects all summer long. Thank you, thank you. And if you like this video, guys, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and please hit the bell. That way you'll know when my next video comes out. Stay safe. Stay healthy. We will see you next time. God bless. Bye-bye. Keep stitching.